We know how uh, people were, were given numbers. Numbers were placed on, on people's arms, which was so degrading, such a, such a degrading thing to have to put numbers. People were no longer people, they were just numbers. And we know how numbers go so much against our Jewish tradition. We know from the Torah. We know that the people were not counted, you know, one, two, three. They were counted there in order to enumerate a census. They had to give a machatzita shekel. And it is interesting that in Sefer Shmuel, at the end of Sefer Shmuel, we see that um, David was uh, punished. There was a, a, a devil, there was a plague, a possibility of a plague, because they made a census and they counted people. So we see how so degrading the Holocaust was. That people are reduced to numbers. So we pray, Baruch Hashem, and we live in a, a different time. Situation is difficult now, but of course you can't, uh, you can't compare it to the Holocaust. I happen to see, it's always very annoying, I happen to see in the uh, uh, Haaretz, uh, I try to avoid reading Haaretz. It's, it's a very upsetting paper. They're so anti. But I saw today in Haaretz, I was sitting, a, a professor, he writes that uh, the, how the situation now reminds him of when he was a young boy in the Holocaust. There might be certain technical similarities, but the situation is so much different. We pray to Rakadish Baruch Hu that this devil, this plague that we have now, should come to an end and everyone should be well and all our people, all our friends, call on Israel, the call Olam, everyone should be well. So I just wanted to make that brief comment. Thank you, Thank you so much, Rabbi, for sharing that. Azak. Azak.